new seal pups play with their mom. It was absolutely amazing. What's up, P-Nation? I'm in Antarctica, and today I have the special opportunity of taking you guys to the ice caves, and we have an amazing opportunity to see some seal pups that are only about a couple days old. It could be so cool if we get to see these seal pups, so I'm really crossing my fingers. We gotta get in the car to go see. Okay, and we've made it to the New Zealand base. We are walking out of the base to the ice cracks. It is extraterrestrial here. It is so weird to be in kind of a different country. We're not technically in a different country, but that's what they told us it was gonna be like. So there are some seals next to the cracks that I'm really excited to show you guys. Apparently we can get pretty close to them. So we'll see what we can see, but it's gonna be amazing. But I'm really nervous because you can't pee for the whole time you're here because that is considered waste and you're not allowed to do that and so I just have to hold it for two hours which doesn't sound like a lot but it's like I'm nervous about going to the bathroom not about falling or getting eaten by a penguin or a seal so we'll see if I can make it okay so these are the cracks right here we're about to go in them and then behind me is the wind turbine that New Zealand owns that powers their station and then some of the United States station. Being closer, I'm walking on seal poop right now, which kind of sounds disgusting, but it's really exciting because they're really close. Okay, we're getting closer to the seal, but what you're seeing, those cracks in the ice, I'm actually walking on an ocean right now, it's called the Ross Sea, and those cracks in the ice are from the glacier that's over there, coming in to the shore that's over here, and then the ocean, which is behind you, all submerging in the same place. And so it makes these weird cracks that are going to eventually dissolve, and last year there were 300 emperor penguins that lived along these shores. So in a couple months, that's what's about to happen. And there are a couple of treks I could have come on, but I'm really glad I came on this one because we have the SEAL team with us to give us all the things about SEALs. So it's really nice because they're actually doing the SEAL research here and they go in the field every day. So I'm learning a lot. That was so cool. That was so cool. They were like waddling on the ocean. And it's just so weird. They just came up through the hole. And they're just here with their pup. Just cuddling all day. Like, what is life? 
honestly, what is life. Seals are so cool. Well, that was amazing. I learned that these seals were only born two days ago. That is crazy. They popped out of their mom's tummy on the ice and they've just been cuddling with their mother ever since. Then they gain five pounds a day by drinking milk that's 80% fat. That is ridiculous. And then after 10 days, they're ready to go back in the water, get some more food for their pups. And they are called pups. That's the best part about these seals is their kids are called pups, which is what I call the That's it, we're officially walking back up to the New Zealand base. I successfully made it. I don't have to go to the bathroom. We walked through the ice fields, saw some seals. This day was amazing. I hope there's another one like it, equally as exciting. But I doubt anything will be as exciting as watching new seal pups play with their mom. It was absolutely amazing. I have to stop talking now because my face is frozen. And now we are back together. We went on separate seal trips and hers was really cool. She actually saw a mom pup jump in the water. I got to see a smaller pup jump in the water after. It was amazing. And now Leah's gonna tell you about what the seals eat. So in the frigid water that we live right beside, there are tons of different types of sea creatures that the seals eat. And I think also the penguins eat. So we have fish that have antifreeze running through their blood not real antifreeze but like natural antifreeze we have sea spiders that are bright orange and are the largest sea spiders in the entire world which is due to arctic gigantism i think that's what it's called but their metabolism slows down so much that i don't know what happens they like they just grow bigger than normal so so sea spiders exist in other places of the world but they're just itty bitty bitty but here they're like the size of your face it's crazy we also have gigantic sand fleas, which are super creepy. If you've ever walked on a beach where there's sand fleas just like jumping out of seaweed everywhere, you know what we're talking about. But think of them like cockroach size. They're so creepy, but super cool. They have so many legs and they're really, really nasty to touch, which brings us to the touch tank. So here we have the Crary Lab at McMurdo Station. It's where a lot of research goes down and they have a touch tank. So they have a sample of all these little creatures that you can actually touch. And the water is negative 1.8 Celsius degrees. So it's absolutely freezing cold, the same temperature as the actual water here. And you can touch all these little guys and you can just kind of play with them, you can pick them up. There's an awesome neon yellow sea slug that you can play with. You gotta keep him in the water and it's freezing so it's not that pleasant, but he's really cute. And sea anemones are also in here too. So there's just a lot of really cool little creatures that we've been able to actually see and touch and experience and it's just really awesome and I can't believe we're able to do that. I mean, it's super cool.